Well, thanks for clicking on to the Sunday edition of Vogan's European Outlook. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. Certainly, it is a very, very gloomy, damp start to Sunday across much of Scotland and across, in fact, much of northern Britain, um, back across Ireland as well. We've got another system that's uh, pushing through on the back side of that front that uh, really removed the subtropical continental air with the and replacing it with a more polar maritime air mass certainly a big big difference compared to what we've had in recent days but we've got a very very interesting week of weather coming up a massive temperature difference between the north and the south uh, especially towards the uh, wednesday time period but before we get to that i'm going to look at something else here we're going to look at the longer term pattern and we've got an ongoing stratospheric warming event taking place at the moment in the very area that we didn't see back in the winter season, which is interesting. We've got warming that's taking place right over the polar region. And you're saying to yourself, well, would you not be looking at this more in the winter time? Sure. But it looks as if it could be having a, a response to the end of April pattern here, uh, not just across Northwest Europe, but also across Eastern North America as a whole. Now, the North Atlantic Oscillation and the Arctic Oscillation has been positive throughout the past six months or so. And what we're going to see potentially from this uh, strat warming at the uh, 50 millibars is we could see both indices going negative. What that would do is it would support more of a trough back over Eastern North America, Western Europe and a ridge over the very place that we would have liked to see back in the winter season. The CFSV2 is showing this idea. Uh, nothing terribly unusual. In fact, you tend to get this sometimes as solar cycles come off their maximum and go back um, and head towards the minimum, which of course is, like I say, f four, five, maybe six years away from now. But you quite often get this response in the springtime. It doesn't take place necessarily in the winter months, but we get it in the spring months and it tends to lead to cooler weather conditions across northwestern North America or, or should I say Europe. But uh, certainly over the next uh, five days or so, we're going to be saying to ourselves, well, where's this cold spell coming from? Uh, where's this wetter weather coming from? Because we're going to be talking about midsummer level warmth across southeastern Britain this upcoming week. But we are going to start to see the change taking place as we push from late next week into the following week as we end the month of april and begin may it looks as if it's going to be a very different story to what we've seen in recent weeks now week one and two you can see here what's going on ridge of high pressure sitting firmly over france that's extending into the southern half of the british isles we've got the negative over greenland so it's indicative of that uh, pattern that we've seen all winter the positive neo signal notice by week two though this is the 18th through the 24th of April, we start to see that high pressure core starting to lift north, northwest, up into the northwest of the, um, into the North Atlantic, extending into southern Greenland. What that's going to do is, it's going to then force colder air from the north into the UK. Now look at the difference here, week three and four. We remove the positive, and we start to see a more negative height field, extending firstly, week three, over Scandinavia by the time we get to week four it weakens somewhat but we're left with a trough back over North America and that could be very much in response to that strat warming that's taking place here could be a cooler weather theme late April and into the month of May now as for the upcoming seven day period it's going to be quite a swing in, in, in temperature we're going to see a cooler weather theme across the north of the UK while it's going to be a very different story further south. And this is something I have been showing you now for a good five days or so. You have been made well aware here on the website that we are going to see a more north-south divide this upcoming week as opposed to the week just gone here. The wildfire problems that we've seen over the highlands will be very much removed. There's going to be plenty of rainfall coming into Scotland, coming into parts of Northern Ireland as well whereas it stays drier further south. Now this is the GFS at 24 hours. We see that system that's currently affecting us, push into the near continent, bringing wind and rain to Denmark here. Colder air comes in on the backside of that system while high pressure builds in. 
that sets the scene for a frosty theme Monday night and perhaps Tuesday night as well. Tonight as well would be um, a frost threat by come tomorrow morning, Monday morning. This is a 48 hours, so this is in the Tuesday morning. You've got that north-south divide. Notice where the isobars are coming from further south. They're coming from the Azores, so it's a warm subtropical source region. 540 lines further north here, but what that's going to do is it's going to start to dip further south over the next 48 hour period, 48 to 72 hours. We're going to see uh, moisture here way back on the edge of the map here. Notice the darker greens. That is going to ride along the boundary as it sinks south, bringing plenty of wet weather across Scotland here. Notice here by 72 hours, we've got that stream of moisture riding the boundary, separating low pressure and the trough to the north high pressure and warm dry conditions to the south. That moisture is going to stream into the West Highlands, bringing a fair amount of rain may I add, but as it does so, look out, because we're going to start to heat things up underneath that boundary here. Look at these temperatures at the 15Z Wednesday afternoon. Let's have a closer look in a second. But look at the continent here. Look at all these 20 showing up across France, across the Low Countries, in the Germany, sure it's cooler in Denmark, but look at the contrast that we've got going here over the UK. Let's take a closer look at the UK. Large area of 21 Celsius plus. Wouldn't surprise me if some suburban area of London, such as North Holt, may touch 25 Celsius with this pattern. But look at the Northwest Highlands. We've only got single figures, stuck in mid-single figures under the cloud and the rain. This is very much reflective of the ideas that I've got for the summer overall here. So there you go. Upcoming week, let's summarize. Big temperature contrast north and south over the UK. Much wetter pattern for Scotland compared to the past seven days. And a cooler pattern makes a return to northwest Europe as we push towards the latter stages of April, possibly in response to that strat warming taking place here. So we are going to see the, the, the reduction in temperature as we push seven days and beyond. And uh, that looks as if it's going to take us into the month of May. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great end to your weekend. And I'll be back again tomorrow as always. Bye for now.